Hey guys, it's Miss D from the Allen County Public Library and welcome to summer reading. This week's program is going to be super fun. We're going to read a short story about a cute little slug and then we are going to make slime. So we do have slime kits available for a limited amount of time at the public library so you can come by the circulation desk and pick those up. Today our story is The Slug. This story was written by Elise Gravel and Tundra Books has given us permission to share this book with you on our YouTube channel and we hope you enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce The Slug. Hello! The Slug is a mollusk like the snail, but it doesn't have a shell. Haha, <laughs> you're naked. There are many species of slugs. Sea slugs, ahoy there. Freshwater slugs, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, one slug in a tub. Land slugs, abandoned ship. Land slugs are the ones we're gonna talk about in this book. The slug has two pairs of tentacles on its head. The upper ones are the eyes, and the lower ones are for smelling and tasting. I see you. You're a kid, and you smell like broccoli. Its tentacles are retractable, which means that the slug can pull them inside its head when it senses danger. It's not easy if you wear glasses. The slug breathes through a hole in the side of its body. Everybody's impressed when I do that. The slug moves by contracting the muscles on its belly. Its belly is called a foot. How do you like my new dress? The slug's whole body is covered in mucus, a thick and slimy liquid, kind of like snot. It has to stay in humid areas such as under stones or flower pots so it doesn't dry out. What a gorgeous day. The mucus is very important because it helps the slug move by creating a slick surface. It also acts like a glue to help the slug climb up things like trees and walls. Ugh, what a huge slug. When it senses danger, the slug produces extra mucus so it becomes more slippery and can easily escape predators. Ha ha, I can fly. It's me, super slug, squirt. To find a partner and have babies, the slugs follow another slug's mucus trail. Wait for me, my love. Just like the earthworm, the slug is male and female at the same time. The slug lays its eggs in a hole in the ground or under a rock or a piece of rotten wood. Baby slugs, tiny and transparent, will hatch in a few weeks. Congratulations, it's a boy girl. The slug eats plants and mushrooms. Farmers and gardeners don't like slugs because they eat their lettuce, but slugs play an important role in the environment. They can help break down old or decaying plants and animal matter and turn it back into more important nutrients for the soil. Abracadabra, nature's trash, transform. So the next time you meet a slug, be nice. Share some of your salad with it. Mmm, delicious. Do you have any bubble gum for dessert? All right, so if you picked up a slime kit from the public library, you're going to have a page of instructions in it. You're going to have a large container labeled glue, two smaller ones. One will be labeled baking soda and the other will be labeled contact solution and then you will have a popsicle stick that you can use to mix your slime. All right, so when you're opening these containers, it's best to hold the bottom part with one hand and pull the lid off with the other. That way you're not gonna flip it over. It's a little sturdier. Okay, let's get started making this slime. All right, to begin making your slime, you may need another container if you don't feel like you can keep the glue and everything inside of this container. It's a little smaller than I meant for it to be, but I'm gonna try to mix it in this. So if you see me pause the video and disappear and come back with a bowl, it means I didn't have enough room. 
but you're gonna start off by adding your baking soda, and this is a half a teaspoon, and you're gonna mix it into your glue until you get rid of all the lumps. All right, so once you've stirred your baking soda in and it doesn't have any lumps, you can slowly start adding your contact solution. I did give you extra so you don't need the whole cup, but as you notice, once you start stirring, it's gonna start thickening and becoming slime. So just add a little bit of the contact solution at a time that way you can get this consistency of the slime that you would like. And it may get a little harder to stir. You may have to use your hands. I'm gonna add just a little bit more because that looks pretty sticky. Oh, definitely sticky. And it may come to a point where you can dump it out on the table and start mixing it there. That way you make sure you mix all the parts well and make a good old mess while you're at it. It's what I like to do. All right. And if you're afraid it's gonna stick on the table, you can actually put a little bit of the contact solution on the table so it doesn't stick as much. I accidentally did that earlier. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more. All right. And it's just gotten to the point where my popsicle stick doesn't work well, but once you can play with it and it doesn't stick to your fingers, your slime is ready. Look at this. This is so much fun. I love slime. Not everybody here at the library loves making slime, so they know that I will always volunteer to make slime. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed making slime with me today. There are lots of fun things you can do with your slime. If you get a straw and put it inside of your slime and then blow some air into it. You can blow bubbles with your slime. You can make neat noises with your slime by putting it in the glue container. Very fun. And you can actually use slime to clean too, but that's a whole nother video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed making slime with me today and I will see you next time.